Hi everyone, it's Jeannie again, and I'm here with my kickoff for my 12x12 paper pad project series for April, and I wanted to show you what I am planning to do. I've decided I'm going to do like these prep videos, and then I'll show you the results at the end of the month. So um, I've gone ahead and picked my paper pad that I'm using, and here are the um, the guidelines that I'm using, I need to use, I'm going to choose one paper pad each month and, um, and make at least three projects out of it and then I'm going to share those with you and then I'm either going to donate the paper pad or I have to have a really compelling reason to keep it. So anyway, that is, those are just in a nutshell the rules and I'm trying to get a playlist on my channel so that you guys can find all these videos if you're following along um, and I, again, I'd love for anybody who would like to to participate. So anyway, my pad, the um, the 12 by 12 pad that I'm going to use this time is a really old one, you guys. It's the k and Company Simply Sweet, and it has 36 single-sided papers in it. And I chose this one because um, I want to do some Easter projects. Uh, and I also, um, if you are following this series, you know that last month I did... Uh, a mini album for one of my nieces and I'm doing, an, I had hoped to do them both last month and I only got one of them done. So I'm using a different paper line. Uh, so I decided to use a different paper pad and choose one that had some coordinating papers for the mini album that I want to make this month for my other niece. So, and then uh, some, also some pretty bright colors for spring and for Easter. So anyway, so this is the pad that I'm going to use. You can kind of see the different um, patterns along here. So nice bright spring colors. I love this polka dot because it has all the colors in it. So that is what I'm going to be using. And for my Easter projects, I've gone ahead and pulled out some of my other little, um, some other little things that I think will go well with this collection. So just to show you quickly what I'm planning to use, um, or that I may use, I may use these uh, paper flowers from the Dollar Tree because those actually match nicely with all the colors. Everything but the purple. I don't think there's any, well, I guess there's some lavender in here. So but anyway, I thought that was a nice match. And then I know many of us got these um, spring pixies from Doodlebug and these go really well with the colors of the paper so I thought I might use those. Um, another item that a lot of us got at um, Tuesday morning were these alphas and I thought that these also match the colors really well. Um, so I th I'm really hoping also to do a scrapbook page besides some Easter projects I would like to do a scrapbook page as well so that's why I pulled out some things that I could potentially do titles with or whatever but I thought that looked nice um, then from the Target uh, dollar spot I bought some of these little felt bunnies and look at how nicely they match uh, we've got the green, the lavender, the um, that's teal blue is in here, the light pink and the dark pink so I thought those would work well with this paper then I have, oh, and this is the other Target um, item that I thought could potentially be a title for me if I do a scrapbook page. And I, I'll have to go through my pictures. I'm sure I have pictures of recent Easters that I haven't scrapped yet. So anyhow, so I've got um, that as an option. And then um, let's see, as far as other Dollar Tree things go, um, I did go ahead and pull these um, sparkly stickers. I believe these are from last year because I haven't bought any um, any stickers this year, Easter stickers from the Dollar Tree. Um, and then I went ahead and pulled these as well and um, might use these for cards or Easter projects maybe try to get those used up. Um, some other good matches I thought um, for this paper were these ones. These are also from last year and these are those embossed um, stickers from the Dollar Tree that have some silver foiling on them and I thought these colors were also a very nice match for this paper. Both this one and these cute little bunnies. So potentially these will be in the mix. Um, then I also, um, from Target, these are the felt borders, and they're some of the colors that go really nicely um, in here. Some, not all of them, but some of them work. So that's potential for the mini album. And then I also found these. Um, these are also from the Dollar Tree, and they're really, they're kind of raised a little bit, really cute, but the colors, the, there's orange, pink, and this teal blue that match this pretty well, too, and they're little deer, little... 
um, squirrels, little bunnies. So I thought maybe those. And then I also liked how this matched. These are some of those Martha Stewart uh, stickers that we a lot of us got also at Tuesday morning. And look what a nice match that is for this paper. So yeah, so that is my um, my plan for my Easter projects and potentially for a scrapbook page. And then I wanted to show you the the um, papers that I chose out of this pad to go with my mini album. I'm going to be using um, the Cool Kid. So I have a couple of the 12 by sheets, 12 by 12 sheets of Cool Kid. So I went ahead and pulled those out, and then I pulled four papers from the stack that I think um, are a decent match for this paper line. So um, I chose this nice um, orange on orange large polka dot and it's not a perfect match for the orange but it's not uh, it's I think it's close enough and then what's on the back of this oh it's a gray on the back but um, so there's I chose that one and then I also chose this kind of dark red and while this isn't really perfect either it's okay I think potentially with like this fox and um, the lightning bolt there. Let's see if I'm in camera. So there's that one. This also looks, I think, okay with the dinosaurs because it's kind of an orangey red there. So, and then I chose a couple of the blues um, that I think also work pretty well. I think this um, this kind of um, turquoise blue stripe really matches well and then this is a navy blue with a little turquoise blue flower and I think that that does okay really nicely actually with this paper as well I can show you that with with the cut aparts too so um, so yeah so those are the the papers that I chose out of the paper pen and these are not very thick you guys I mean they're they're thicker than um, they're thicker than like computer you know printer paper but they're not it's not very thick cardstock which is actually good because the little book that I'm using is not very heavy duty so um, so it won't add a, a very much extra bulk so I also you guys have renewed interest in my Cricut so I went ahead and pulled my creator critter um, cartridges and I think I might do some cutting on my Cricut too for some Easter projects. So went ahead and pulled those out, trying to get those um, used. And then, um, so that's really it, you guys, for um, for April. That is my plan. So I will get to work on this this weekend, and then we'll show you the result of what I have done uh, at the um, toward the end of the month. So hope you guys are having a great Saturday, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.